the intensity of it. There's probably more than 100,000 birds there. Things like puffins. If a rat goes down there, they, they really stand very little chance. He is our biosecurity detection dog for Scotland. He's always excited to come to work. He's always enthusiastic. Um, and yeah, he's just a great partner to have out on, on islands. We are going to the Shants to carry out a biosecurity dog check and check some of the wax stations that are on the island. The Shants are a really important islands in Scotland for a lot of different breeding seabirds. They used to have black rats, which have been eradicated. So yeah, right now they're a fantastic place for seabirds and we really want to keep them that way. We are off to search for any signs of rats on the shants. This is our first time here. This is Reed. Um, he is a, an English Springer Spaniel and he is our biosecurity detection dog for Scotland. His job is to sniff out all signs of rats on, um, on seabird islands that we visit. We have lots of methods for surveying for rats and for monitoring for an incursion, but they all rely on the rat coming into contact with that survey method. Whereas Reed is searching for the rats themselves. So he's searching for any signs from droppings to burrows um, to, to the live animal. He is trained to do a passive indication when he finds what he's looking for. And basically that means he will not interfere with it at all. He, um, his indication is to sit and stare at it and wait for me to, to come and give him his ball, basically. So um, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't dig or touch the, anything that he's found. He's a dream to work with. <laughs> he's always excited to come to work. He's always enthusiastic. Um, and yeah, he's just a great partner to have out on, on islands. When you're having a bit of a rough day and you're tired, he's still full of energy and keeps you going. We've got lots of amazing seabird islands in the UK, but I think something that's really special about the chance is the intensity of it. It is a full, sensory experience. There's probably more than 100,000 birds there. It is, it's just, it's just chaos. It's seabird chaos in a beautiful, beautiful way. Seabirds are facing a lot of threats, I'm sure many people know, but things like plastic pollution, climate change, uh, overfishing, a lack of food, uh, and all of those are really big problems that are quite hard to tackle. Um, but giving birds the best chance to sort of keep their populations robust and breed is by making sure that their breeding sites are safe. Uh, and one of the biggest threats to those sites is invasive non-native mammalian predators. So these are things like rats, mice, mink, feral cats, hedgehogs, stoats. They'll all uh, predate on chicks, eggs, uh, and even adult birds. These birds really have no defense against these predators. They haven't evolved with them and some of them almost have no response. Um, and especially burrow nesters, things like puffins and Manx shearwaters, if a rat goes down there, they, they really stand very little chance. Female rats are pregnant pretty much all of the time, basically. And one pregnant female rat, if it were to get to an island like here and went unnoticed, uh, within eight months, you'd have 300 rats. So yeah, the shunts because it's been eradicated, that was a huge amount of both sort of manual effort and planning and money to get that done. So it's really important to keep it free of predators now that that's been done. So almost 10 years since we removed black rat from the shants. Um, and we still come out two to three times a year to check our biosecurity grid, which is 
non-toxic flavoured wax blocks uh, discreetly placed around the island in places that rats, if they were to get here, might find themselves and chew on this flavoured wax block so we would then be able to detect that they're here and if they were to get back, be able to do something about it because we want to keep the chance rat free. Thankfully we didn't find anything. Some of this. Yeah, obviously we don't want to find anything, um, so that's something we have to incorporate into Reed's training as well to make sure that he's happy to search for long periods without finding anything. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, that's the, that's the ultimate aim, that's the best outcome for us. Well, it's obviously a real privilege and really fantastic to be able to come to islands like this and many of the others we work with throughout Scotland because often they're very remote, they have a very rich like natural history and of course it's spectacular being able to see like all the birds and the wildlife. But it's a real reminder of why we're doing the work we are and what we're protecting. It's brilliant.